Hey, I'm going to do a uh, video on my dwarf Singapore Plumeria dwarf Frang Japani because um, it's surprisingly my most popular video but it has the worst engagement probably because I'm just rambling but um, here's what I do in the late winter early spring um, if you've ever kept certain highlight plants in the winter and they're not getting quite as much light they start to suffer a little bit um, I don't uh, fertilize um, over this time because they're not taking a ton up um, but it's looking pretty good um, I'm fairly happy with it but I want to give it a little bit of fertilizer because it's just starting to get sun um, the angle is such that this is going to start getting blasted with sun and I want to give it some organic fertilizer um, so that it can be happy for most of the year. I usually probably top dress two times per year um, and that's a that's getting to my first point of this video. If you're gonna grow a tree in a tiny pot like this, this is a 3.75 gallon. I'm thinking about moving up to a seven gallon um, this spring just because the plant will be healthier. There's no way um, that uh, with an organic fertilizer you're going to get good mineralization to completely support the growth that this plant needs. So I basically treat the granular fertilizer as a slow release and then I'll feed uh, every couple of weeks um, especially during active growth I'll go down to go once a week I'll feed on top of this with a, a liquid fertilizer that's mostly soluble and that'll either be um, honestly I'm not picky I'll either use my orchid fertilizer which is 12 1 1 uh, 10 calcium 3 magnesium or I'll use a 2 2 1 um, liquid fish hydrolysate. Um, like I know I've said this in my previous video, a lot of people in plumerias are obsessed with um, phosphorus and if you've got good bacteria in here you don't need a ton of phosphorus um, especially not like the crazy stuff that people are suggesting online which is like I don't know, it's insane, like 50, 0, 050, whatever. Um, so just so we're clear, bloom boosters are fake, they're a scam, they're not a real thing. Um, stop buying bloom boosters. Most plants you can use the same fertilizer on all of them and you'll be just fine. So what I'm going to do here is I'm taking the top, it's not really a mulch, it just ends up that way. The top layer of this soil mix off and then I'm going to add some organic fertilizer about a cup of organic fertilizer in this four gallon pot I'm gonna scratch it in and then I'm gonna put this mulch back on top and water it in so here's how I do that. And I'm using, I just buy this stuff because it's a local brand. Like I said, the numbers don't matter too much. Um, but this is just an organic um, fertilizer. Um, they are aimed at the uh, medicinal market, but uh, I use it on my garden. I don't grow any medicinal plants. I use this on my garden because it, it's great. Um, it's one of the better organic organic fertilizers that I've tried. So, sorry, my cat is just going crazy in the background. He doesn't like when I do show any interest to anything. So this is gonna just be about two handfuls Mm 
And this is like a lot of crustacean meal, a lot of slow release nitrogen. And then I'm just gonna water this in slightly. I'm not I'm not gonna flush it out. I'll add a little more just just because I'm not gonna flush water out the bottom of the pot. I just wanna soak it and I want this layer right here on top to stay wet so that this so this stuff starts to break down. So then I'm gonna put this back on top. And if you just top dress a dry container, it's gonna break down really slow and you're not gonna get very good results. So, but yeah, if you want to grow a plumeria in your house or your condo, this is a great species. I don't know why it's not talked about it more. It's a uh, super easy species, and here we go. So, now that I have this, now oh, my lovely cat, I just have my concrete sprayer. Um, and what I have in here is a wetting agent, and I have a, some microbes, to help speed up the breakdown process. So I have both bacillus microbes and lactobacillus. And then I've got a little bit of aloe in here, which I like um, just as a pest preventative. So this is all you gotta do to get your season started. Is just water all of this in and I like slowly watering it in because I feel like it just soaks uh, and you get more even moisture and uh, I'm only going to add about 0.5 liters this is a uh, 3.75 gallon pot so I'm going to only add about 5% of its volume in water um, I, like I said, I don't want all of this nutrients that I just top dressed to flush out of the bottom of the pot. And that's all you got to do. And that's how I get my dwarf plumeria, plumeria obtusa, ready for the spring. It's a beautiful day. And uh, I also like to time it with a day that I know that it's going to get warm. And... Um, there's going to be a lot of light because it's going to really get the plant going. It's going to get the plant when it pulls up water. It's going to pull up nutrients and it's going to really improve the health of the plant. So hope you found this interesting and I hope your uh, indoor plants and your garden is doing great this year, whatever time of the year it is for you. And I hope you have a good day.